Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll explain how to add and overlay an image to your App Store screenshot set in App Screens. If you're new here, let me give you a quick rundown. App Screens is the ultimate tool for developers and marketers to effortlessly create professional App Store ready screenshots. It supports every device, App Store, and language, making the process seamless. With smart responsive resizing, you design once and apply it to all required outputs, iPhones, iPads, Androids, desktops, and more, with all languages included. App Screens automatically adapts every element, saving you time while ensuring pixel perfect results every time. Now let's run through how to add this image. So your image could pretty much be anything. It could be a logo, an App Store badge, graphic, or picture. The project I'll be using in this video is one of the many templates you can use in App Screens. Make sure you have opened the project you want to work on. Under the Layout and Background section, hit the Custom Layout Designer button. The Layout Designer is where all the magic happens. We work on percentages to calculate the ratio design for all the other device targets you've selected for your project. You have three available layers and will likely already have one layer. Hit Add Layer to add a new one. You can see the positioning of your layers at the top. Click the More menu if you need to move it backwards or forwards. Drag the image element onto your layer and then we'll edit the positioning percentages. In this example, my image is a small circular icon. I want to overlay the device with this image in the top left corner. The starting offset is how much the element will hang over the top edge of the screen. I don't need that for this, so we'll leave it as zero. I'm going to set the height of the element to 30% and also the width to 30%. This means they'll take up 30% off the available width and height. Our left inset is how far into the screenshot our element will come in. We want this to come across slightly, so I'll position it at 10%. We want some padding at the top of the screenshot so that the image comes down the screen a little. Let's try 15%. You can see at the bottom here, our total element height is 45%. As our elements are sitting at the top of the screenshot, padding will automatically be added to fill the other 55%, taking us to 100%. Hit save. You may have to play around with these numbers to get the correct positioning for your image if you don't get it right the first time. We are going to add our image now to see how it looks. Hit select image. You can add a new image here. Use a preset or access your images. These are split and allocated in two folders depending on what they've been added against, either a background or an image. I uploaded mine earlier so you can see it here. Clicking on this will add it to our image element. As shown with our red hash lines, we've made the element a little too tall and it isn't sitting in the right position. As we've now added the element, we can edit the positioning live right here. Click on the move icon against the image element. Starting with the height, that needs to decrease. 15% looks good. Let's increase the top padding. 18% looks about right. Finally, the left inset. Let's decrease that too. Great, 3% seems to be the number. If I swap our current display device, you'll see this has worked perfectly across our other selected devices, all ready for export and upload to the app stores. We hope this tutorial has helped you with adding images and overlays to your screenshot set in app screens. Don't forget to subscribe for any new videos. Good luck with your app release.